Alrighty, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Aiden Hayes and welcome to part 18, I believe, of the Red Dead Redemption uh, Let's Play series. So, can't believe, it, dude, this game is so long, considering each of my my uh, parts is about an hour long. So, you know, that's what, already 18 hours? And I've already spent well over 10 hours on uh, just, you know, single player or uh, stranger missions and all this sort of nonsense on the side, so... Oof, man, this game, this game is lengthy, I will say that. This game is super lengthy. Um, but it's a good one. It's a good one. It's, it's, I like it, so. Anyway, we've, we kind of had to get a haircut. We stole from the, this, like, ferry outside of St. Denis. We, it was kind of a heist. I don't know, some, one of these boats, but it was uh, known for holding poker and, uh, like high stakes poker and we basically robbed that so we've got some money in our pockets and it's not good like i said and i've said i've been saying this the whole time if dutch's plan is to move and stay out of the out of damn trouble then he should not you guys should not be doing stuff like this you shouldn't be doing heist you shouldn't be causing attention to yourselves so i think this this is not good like I, i've always been on arthur's side and arthur arthur i think is the same way so Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. How are you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> If he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. A uh. few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. True. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I oh, ain't geez. never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not mm -hmm. Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? <laughs> what? Oh, oh no! Yeah, the tree line. Everybody take cover. What, dude? No, I actually kind of liked Kieran. No! <laughs> what is going? The fucking Lemoyne Raiders, dude. Oh, you sons of mother. <sighs> well, now these freaking idiots know we're here. How, oh, dude? Oh, my God. Lemoyne Raiders, dude. You. S Hold on. Bring my semi on. Dude. Like, hold on. This is. Uh, oh my god. Dude, Kieran. His eyes were. Oh my gosh. Dude, Ki like, I, he, that kid didn't deserve that type of death. No, I'm sure he was tortured and stuff, so. You better get in there quick. Dude, I'm about to blow everyone's damn heads off. Dude, everyone deserves to have their damn freaking limbs blown off. Ah! 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 
What? No, we're not. Dude, I totally just manhandled that. Push the cabinet. Hey! No! What cabinet? I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Jesus Christ, dude. Everyone accounted for. I think. Hey. Oh, baby. I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. That's Mrs. Handler. She's still out. There. Cover me. Okay. I found me one of those women. Sadie, Sadie, I'm coming. Sadie? Sadie! Sadie! Holy! Holy Jesus, that's three people! Why didn't you get inside? Miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, they don't. Dude, your head better get blown off. All of everyone deserves to have their head blown off. Holy. Holy Lemoyne Raider. Everyone deserves to have their damn head blown off at this point, to be honest. Poor Kieran, dude. He did not deserve that kind of a death. Like, yeah, maybe he deserved to die because he betrayed them, but not that kind of a death, man. We okay? I think so. Except for Kieran here. Uh, poor kid. Yeah. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with Christ, the dude. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll, that man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to Ooh. get moving. away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. We need to hit Como Driscoll. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <sighs> oh, man, dude. Oh, my God. Kieran, dude. Poor dude. Didn't deserve that at all. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Jeez, yeah. That was crazy, dude. That's one of the best missions, though. That was a good mission. Take care of this... Only sidearms get 15 headies. Dude, that was crazy. That was absolutely insane. Hey, but we've only been live for 10 minutes? No way. Really? I feel like I've been live for a while now. Huh. That's crazy. Alright, so let's just... um. 
Things are not all right. They're never all right. Look at my beard now. Oh my god, that's a presidential beard. <laughs> it looks so weird. It looks so disgusting, too. I chose to get a presidential uh, good boy haircut. <laughs> Can't say I'm liking too much how it looks. So we're just gonna ride over there because it's very close and well very close so I wish the map would uh, tell you to go straight like I know there's roads to take but sometimes you can just there's so many shortcuts you can take you don't need to take the road taking the road can you know going straight instead of taking the road could save you a good chunk of time there's a snapping turtle right there this is exactly what I'm talking about. oh my god that's an alligator fuck 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 I'm sorry. Like this. You take these trails. It's faster. So, my point. My point exactly. I've found a legendary fish location. Oh my god, look at that. We're about... Where are we? Dude, I'm so triggered. Kieran. Poor Kieran, dude. They gutted his eyes out, dude. I'm still thinking about that. They they beheaded him. I'm sure they cut his eyes up. Like, they gutted his eyes out first. And then... And then they slashed his throat or... Or kept torturing him. God's sake. And, uh... Jeez, man. I just... Crazy to think what that poor kid went through. I mean, that's kind of how it was too back in the days. If, like, tort like betrayal was seen as a huge, like a big offense in in like the medieval times and stuff. If you betrayed, boy, were you about to die a painful death. Here we are. Yeah, Dutch. Come on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Oh, we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we're we not are gonna we're... rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte Jesus said this place has got money. Oh, hold on, hold on. yo, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Damn it! I got it with me. I got it. Hold on, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this right, baby. Oh, yes. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's hit this train. Come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, uh, you need to give me all money. your money. Don't now. make us kill you. Take whatever I've got to Leave these fine folks their 78 cents. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. That's your choice. Give me everything you got on you. I ain't playing here. And it, it better not be 78 cents. God damn it. Give me all your money now. You walk away. Okay. Fine, it's yours. Better not be a dollar. Oh my god, dude! There's nothing much here! What? There's nothing really here! You're sure? Yes! Oh, Jesus. And get ready for company. All of you! 
behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. This is going to be a failed robbery. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! Jesus. Yeah, it's not going to be. Dude, this is already... There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn out! We got you surrounded! That's it! Oh. Son of a bitch! He set us up! You think this seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur? What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Wait, 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 hold up. Who set us up? How do they know it's me, Arthur Morgan? What the? Watch those side owls, Arthur. We got someone about to be through. That bass must have called in. Damn. What side? Some riders coming on this side. Arthur, cover our left. Ready. Your right ah. back here is not. Dead man. Arthur, coming out of the bank on the right. Broad day is going to pay for this. Dude, it was Bronte. Fucking hell, dude. Coming, I hear their whistles. It's not good. Oh. Maybe that was perfect. Nice. Go Lenny, go Lenny, move, move. Watch Angelo Bronte help us. Watch him just like be ready to help us. Where's my shotgun? Damn it! Why? Hold on. I don't know why, Dutch Vander fucking Lynn, you would ever even trust Bronte in the first place. This dude, just by looking at him, like, Jesus Christ, dude, you gotta, you gotta wake up. Jesus, my, my bounty now is gonna be. This reminds me of that one GTA 4 mission. Uh, when we kind of had to escape from that bank robbery we pulled with Packy. I don't know if you guys, if you're a rock star guy, you would know. Get him out of bullets, man. Got to use our high velocity. I 
I just want to point out that cop took out took like five of my bullets. Just wanted to point that out, dude. Look at that pistol. Oof. Hold up. Damn. Hold up. Come on. Before any more show up. You okay, Doug? Oh, baby. Look, we ain't done yet. God, what do they say? Out of the frying pan into the fire, dude. Out of the frying pan into the fire. That's exactly what's going on. Can I not use both my damn guns? Oh, bro, right in the eye, too. Take that one, you sucker. Oh, oh, dude, that guy just jumped. <laughs> move. Move, people, move. Oof, oof, oof. Fix the damn mic. It's gonna fall on me here. Okay, there we go. Just head straight for the bridge. Dude, that was crazy. Damn! They blocked the roll. Hold on. Use this. Oh, bro, we gotta throw that dynamite. Wait, what? You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Oh, I don't have to target anymore. I think that's what it means. Yeah. Move out of the way, snapping turtle. I think we're clear. Dutch. Jesus. Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us? What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. Ooh. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. Okay, that I kind of agree with you. We could rob the bank and let's just let's just disappear. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Damn, Lenny, you're so cool. Sixteen dollars, Jesus. Urban pleasures. God, <laughs> this is only going from worse to worse. <laughs> is there even a hundred and eighty dollar bounty? Oh my god! 
That's not too good, brother. That's not too good. Dude, no way we just cranked out like three missions in that time. Let's just move on then. I, I, we're not even halfway through our stream. I usually stream for an hour. We're only 25 minutes in. That's crazy to me. Crazy. There are like alligators everywhere here. Oh my god, there's alligators everywhere. Everywhere. No. I hate alligators, dude. They're... If I ever if I ever see an alligator in my life, like just like if I were if, like in Florida, like if you were to walk out one day in your backyard and you see a damn alligator, dude, I'd faint. I'd faint. I'd pass out and I'd probably get eaten by that alligator. Just I I no. Just no. Like what? No. Dude, alligators are just look at them. Like, look at a damn alligator and tell me if that thing is not... Ugh. Ugh. Get the chills, man. I get the chills. Perfect. There's a freaking baby alligator right there. Get the... Get on your horse. Get on your horse. Go, go, go. Going, keep going. I actually hate Saint Denis just because of the alligators. Like, I'm not even kidding. Oh my god, dude, how many alligators? There's a baby gator right there. There's a baby gator. Well, I'm I'm gonna go up there. But not for the likes of you. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe it. Chapter five is a complete shit show, man. It keeps getting worse too. I love how this whole game I think is focused on the downfall of on the downfall of Dutch's gang. Why why couldn't we have played some of the glorious times when we just so, were out there doing our Arthur, thing? You get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. It just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job of course it doesn't feel good. we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital. And we need to leave. Sounds like Thanos. You know I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well. Business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Jose is not with him. Before, and usually I've been right. If you say so. No, down, you have Arthur, not. It does no favors. Come on. Dude, we I kind of want to just slap Dutch right now. Boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. 
catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Ha. <laughs> ha. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. No, Hosea has a damn brain. Is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some hmm. goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. This feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yep. Yeah. Pinkertons. We need to move and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What? Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Whoa. Dutch is definitely not going to trust Arthur. I feel like... Hmm. I don't know. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite His the adventure eye. fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your <laughs> trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Dude, we're gonna get mauled by a damn alligator. Shouldn't Hell take no. Too long if we can find it. Hell no, we're gonna get mauled. Don't do it, Dutch. Don't do it. <laughs> you guys, I was just talking about my you damn fear of alligators. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a... An aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. 
down here. Some money. Be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Jesus Christ. No, don't do it. No, don't do it. I'm staying right behind you, Dutch. Look out for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Damn it. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? There's something right there. This one's empty. Alright. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. <laughs> what if I just go off? <laughs> There's a get her right over there, dude. I'm freaking out. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yeah, some strange people around these parts. Oh, the KKK, dude. Animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. What the hell, dude? Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Oh my god, dude. I'm about to shit my pants. <laughs> Let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. I think he's been, uh, I think he's been eaten. I think he might be in some gator's stomach by now. If I may be. I think that's what happened. I think that's what's going on. Pretty sure he's dead somehow. <laughs> Damn it. Give a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. There's something right there. I saw an eye. Oh no, that's a probably a some. Hold up. Three of them, dude. There's three damn oh gators. There's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. Brother I should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Oh. At home here, you take the right. We'll go left. Oh hell no, dude! I ain't splitting up. Uh uh. No uh uh uh. -uh. Oh. Hell. Oh hell no! I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Dude, what is this? <laughs> Why? Why us, man? I. <laughs> I literally just said it in like the previous mission. Oh, if I ever found a gator on my backyard, I would just faint and become gator food. And now this. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> why, dude? Why? Damn, we're so far away from... Why are they over there? And I'm like over here all by myself. That's a gator right there. I don't know what kind of animal makes this damn hole. Don't want to know. I'm just waiting for the damn, uh, shit. Hey, or something. really see anything either there's a light over there but we go towards the light we're gonna get attacked by the damn freaking strange gator Well, that's very reassuring. Thank you. Thank you, Jules. I got the scare. It's over here. It's stuck. Back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. I can hear hissing, I think. I don't know. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. Oh. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Oh. Now, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna watch him get eaten. Long before it gets anywhere near you. You got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Brother, this ain't this isn't gonna be good. Come on, put your back into it. Jules? 
shit. He won't kill No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Real quick. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, fuck you, Dutch. Fuck you, man. Shit, he's right over there. I'm coming, kid. I'm coming. I think I saw it there. I think I saw it. I think it was white too. It's gonna get infected now for sure. That's just like its tip of its face too. Too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. Fuck, dude. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. <laughs> There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. Dude, what if I do it? Passed out. I think you'll be okay if he don't get a fever. Yeah, that. He but we can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it! But every bullet. If that's one of the legendary animals we have to hunt, I don't want to. Thank you very much, but no. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big ones is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh my god. There's a monster out here. 
He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need me. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you Damn. put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I hope we kind of kill him though now at the same time. You got monsters out here. Well. Jeez. Oh my god, dude, my heart was actually pounding that whole entire time we were in the damn swamp. Ugh. Look at him starting to move. Country pursuits. <laughs> what what do we have to do? Return to let's keep within one minute and forty seconds. Seems like awfully not that. Where's that guy, by the way? Where does he live? Here? Bait shop. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna finish this mission. Move. Let's go do this professor one thing. The electric chair. I'm about to execute someone in the electric chair. Move next time. About to get it. The stranger mission. Oh shit! You're going to be in a better place. Stay calm. I feel bad capturing this guy. Electric chair. Oh, the calm removal of this man's existence. <laughs> Incredible. He's nearly dead. So humane. So humane. Oh.
Fuck. Let's get out. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. I totally missed that cutscene. Why is he dead? I have to go back and watch that. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? How did that... What the hell? What the? <laughs> Can't lasso him. Well, that's done. I think. And we have another stranger mission up there. I didn't even see that one before. <clears throat> Charles Cadney. Let's go do this Jim Boy Calloway one.